Hey, what's going on, guys? So, uh, what I'm doing today is um, changing my uh, garage door extension springs. Um, I just had to grab a battery pack for my camera. But um, as you can see, my door, I've actually done uh, the left side already. And the door, I had to close, I clo end up, ended up closing the door last night because um, I, you know, I was working pretty late and I decided to go to bed, but this side of the door has a spring on it um, and this this side has nothing at all. So it was pretty, I had to have my cousin help me close, actually close it because it was just had so much tension on one side obviously. But um, as you can see, it's it's just it's totally uneven right now. Uh, it really, ha it didn't even close on one side. But um, I'm about to go in and um, uh, do the other side, um, change the extension spring, and um, I'm actually uh, going to be replacing the actual um, opener as well at some point. But I'm starting with the springs because. Um, that's pretty much why my opener failed is because I had um, uh, the springs were, were just toast. I mean I looked at Home Depot they're about four hundred dollars for a um, for an ins nice insulated door you know you can pay up to seven hundred for a good one with you know really good quality parts my dad's got some pretty nice ones but um, for now I decided to just tune this one up so um, we're gonna go uh, inside and see if we can get this this uh, done tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna start by removing the safety cable, which is this right here. Uh, on my setup, it's held on by a ca uh, cable clamp, um, and it's got two bolts on it. Okay, so that's been removed. Uh, as you can see, the cable is now uh, exposed, and I'm able to uh, push it through the, the hole where it came in. So I'm just going to pull it out on this end. This is a, a real, uh, real important thing. Is um, you want to make sure that the door is in the open, fully open position. And um, what you can do to keep it open, if you don't have any springs, is uh, just use a C-clamp. Um, if and if there's no springs on the door, you'll want to use uh, a clamp on each side. And you just basically, you know, you just clamp right where the the roller is, and it stays up pretty good. I used I only use one this time because I actually have already done the other side. We've got our safety cable disconnected. So I'm just gonna pull up on this and that just removes it from the spring. Okay so next step is uh, we have our extension spring hanging here and um, I want to remove that from the beam and um, this setup here is it's it's basically just has a hook and it goes in um, with a bolt to the other side of the rail so I'm going to remove that bolt now and, and uh, remove the, the spring now it should come out pretty easily like that. there we go Okay. So that's our old one. Here's the uh, the hook, whatever it's called. This one actually, geez, looks like it's taking a little beating. I should have picked up new ones. It's a little bent, but anyway. Uh, this is the new hardware. Um, these these rollers on. Them guessing were are original from um, you know 1969 they were probably 40 years old I mean these things are beat so they were five dollars a piece um, so like I said I'm replacing 
um, the uh, the opener itself I picked up a new one so I have to replace that and uh, I, you know I figured I would if I'm not gonna buy a new door you know I'd spend a couple bucks to to kind of tune up tune up the door um, so I picked up these these uh, new rollers uh, you know they got brand new bearings five bucks is not not a terrible uh, terribly bad investment so anyway so these are the new spring that's the new spring right there and as you can see uh, this is what happens to the old springs they just get uh, you know they just get stretched I mean it almost looks like it was overextended um, you know one once one good time and it just stretched the crap out of it but um, that's what the old spring looks like and that's uh, the new spring right next to it all right so before I go any further I'm gonna go ahead and replace both pulleys uh, there's one here and then there's one at the end of um, the, the spring so the kit actually comes with everything it comes with um, this thing here and it comes with new bolts so I'll do that now okay so now that we have uh, uh, both of our new pulleys installed these happen to be uh, 14 millimeter um, bolts I just used a, a ratchet on both sides, but um, so now that we have that done, get the new uh, pulley up here. Um, the next step we're gonna do is uh, get the spring. Basically, just get the spring uh, mounted uh, here on our on our beam, and just basically let it hang. Alright, so now that we have the uh, spring installed and it's hanging here, we want to uh, grab our uh, pulley cable wire and we want to secure it to the bottom bracket of the door and then run it right over to the top of the wheel and then all the way over uh, to the spring. Alright, so we've got our pulley cable uh, installed. So, like I said before, it goes from the bottom track all the way over to the top of, of the of the first pulley. Back again on the other side, and then under, and then back um, into this S hook right here. So the next step is to install your safety cable. Uh, and in my case, it's going to be just basically just wrap it right around this beam, and then into the spring, out of the spring, and then there's a uh, there's a slot right here, and it's just going to go right inside there, and then it's going to cable tie right there. All right, so we got our safety cable on there, on this side. Um, I did it a little different on this side. I didn't wrap it around because I had to use a different cable. But it's pretty much drilled it right into the beam. So a couple washers and a, a drywall screw. Um, but the tension seems to be, you know, pretty much the same on both sides, and that's that's what you want to aim for. I got a little bit of extra here. I just got a snip, but you want to you want to kind of just step back. I look at both both springs and just make sure that you know just eye them, eye them and make sure that the level dips down a little bit. And that one's kind of coming down at the same angle. You'll know once you once you pull the door down. You know you may have to adjust um, this right here. It might be too tight. You know it might spring up too fast or might spring down too fast but obviously you know, loosen it if it if it um, loosen it if it springs up too fast and and uh, you know give it some slack if it um, if it doesn't want to close uh, the door comes up a little a little bit tight but I mean they're gonna the springs are 
still brand new so you know they're gonna stretch over time pretty good. See, I mean, see how it kind of springs up at the end. It is a little tight, but um, I don't think it's too, I don't think it's terrible. It's pretty, pretty easy to, to push down. And like I said, they should stretch. I'd say that's pretty decent. Okay.